Baruch Spinoza quotes. The highest activity a human being can attain is learning for understanding. Because to understand is to be free. I do not know how to teach philosophy without becoming a disturber of the peace. No matter how thin you slice it, there will always be two sides. If you want the present to be different from the past, study the past. Everything excellent is as difficult as it is rare. I have made a ceaseless effort not to ridicule, not to bewail, not to scorn human actions, but to understand them. The more clearly you understand yourself and your emotions, the more you become a lover of what is. Peace is not the absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition of benevolence, confidence, justice. Do not weep. Do not wax indignant. Understand. When a man is prey to his emotions, he is not his own master. What Paul says about Peter tells us more about Paul than about Peter. Be not astonished at new ideas. For it is well known to you that a thing does not therefore cease to be true because it is not accepted by many. There is no hope unmingled with fear. And no fear unmingled with hope. In so far as the mind sees things in their eternal aspect. It participates in eternity. The endeavor to understand is the first and only basis of virtue. No to laugh. Not to lament. Not to detest. But to understand. Pride is pleasure arising from a man thinking too highly of himself. A free man thinks of nothing less than of death. And his wisdom is a meditation. Not on death, but on life. None are more taken in by flattery than the proud, who wish to be the first and are not. We feel and experience ourselves to be eternal. Men are mistaken in thinking themselves free. Their opinion is made up of consciousness of their own actions, and ignorance of the causes by which they are determined. Minds, however, are conquered not by arms, but by love and nobility. He alone is free who lives with free consent under the entire guidance of reason. All things excellent are as difficult as they are. Rare only in relation to our imagination can things be called beautiful or ugly. Well ordered or confused, don't cry and don't rage. Understand. Nature offers nothing that can be called this man's rather than another's. But under nature everything belongs to all. All happiness or unhappiness solely depends upon the quality of the object to which we are attached by love. The mind of God is all the mentality that is scattered over space and time. The diffused consciousness that animates the world. Reason is no match for passion. Self-preservation is the primary and only foundation of virtue. Nothing in nature is random. A thing appears random only through the incompleteness of our knowledge. Happiness is a virtue, not its reward. The good which every man who follows after virtue desires for himself he will also desire for other men. The less the mind understands and the more things it perceives, the greater its power of feigning is. And the more things it understands, the more that power is diminished. Nothing forbids man to enjoy himself. Save grim and gloomy superstition, hatred is increased by being reciprocated and can on the other hand be destroyed by love. Will and intellect are one and the same thing. Blessed are the weak who think they are good because they have no claws. Whatsoever is, is in God, 
and without God nothing can be or be conceived, I saw that all the things I feared and which feared me had nothing good or bad in them save in so far as the mind was affected by them. Love is nothing but joy with the accompanying idea of an external cause. Whether this desire for sex is moderate or not, it is usually called lust.